Hello there, Sagittarius. This is your November 2022 reading. Let's see what's going on for you guys. What's going on for Sagittarius? We have the Fool, a free spirit. Okay, new beginning, Aries Aquarius energy. And then we have the Two of Cups, a loving exchange. Uh-oh, coming into a new relationship. And we have the High Priestess, subconscious mind. You guys might be connecting on the fifth dimension here. Okay, we have here five of swords, not by the rules. Okay, so we have someone is being a little deceitful here with the five of swords. Someone might be starting trouble. We'll see what's going on here. Okay, so let's start with the fool. Why is the fool here? It's a new beginning, fresh start, taking a leap of faith. Why do we have that here? And we have here the two of swords, trying to make a decision. You might have two to check choose from here we have a two here and two here definitely choices you're not sure what to do okay why do we have the two of let me make sure this is the two of cups here two of cups because sometimes I, the cups look like coins to me <laughs> the way the word is written okay so why do we have a two of cups why is a two of cups here and it's the five of wands. Ooh, yeah, I, I, I was straight. Ooh, I can't speak. I would say there's strong competition for your love here. This is, you know, competition for sure. Five of wands. And then we have this high priestess. So high priestess of Virgo, cancer energy. Let's see what we get for that. And we have here the sun. So there's bringing... Someone's shining light on your situation. I almost feel like you guys are very intuitive and it might be, you might be drawing attention that you are very intuitive, that you're able to, um, see things that other people can't see, that your intuition is on fire right now, especially with the sun. So yeah, there's something, but also makes, this makes you very happy. Okay, let's see. Bottom deck we have. The Four of Pentacles, someone's holding back. See, now with the Five of Swords and some, and the Four of Pentacles, it feels like someone's holding back, but there is, I think there's some kind of, um, something going around that you don't really see in the background. Someone trying to sabotage something or start trouble or conflict or gossip. And someone's trying to hold back so you don't see this. That makes sense. Not going to be for everyone. Let's see what else we have here. What else? Okay, we have the four swords going within, taking a breather here. You might need to step back before you make a decision, because I do think you've really considered two different possibilities here for a love connection, and you're not really sure what to do. So, yeah, just, you don't have to make a decision right away. Take your time. Think about it. Nine of Cups, emotional film. Well, you're going to be really happy with whatever decision comes. you got the sun, you got the Nine of Cups, very happy cards coming out now. Nine of Swords, Death of the Spirit. Someone, whoever you don't choose, is going to be quite upset about it. The one you leave out in the cold. This is the same with the Four of Pentacles. You know, feels like someone might be holding on to you too. Eight of Swords, self entrapment. Someone's stuck in their thoughts. You know, that's something where you don't have to be there. You're putting yourself there. Okay, let's see. Why is the Four of Swords here? Why is the Four of Swords here? And we have the Six of Wands. Okay, you're going to get recognized recognition for something here. You're um, in the spotlight. It might be for something that you do that, I don't know, do you meditate? Do you teach classes on meditation or something? Whatever, this is getting attention here. Yoga? I feel like someone does some kind of classes. Very strong here, because between this card this card, it feels like a yoga or something like that, or, or meditation. Okay, what about the Nine of Cups? Why is the Nine of Cups here? Why is the Nine of Cups here, please? Six of Swords. You're moving away from something to go towards your Nine of Cups. I feel like there's something, you might be also going on a trip that you're very happy about. Or a move that you're very happy about. There's something that you're doing that's making you real happy. Some kind of movement. Okay. Now what about the Nine of Swords? Why do we have the Nine of Swords? We have the Ace of Wands. Let's 
Or can nine of swords, there's someone that is really upset, someone that can't sleep at night. It might be because you're manifesting something new here. I think it's a person that you're leaving out in the cold is very upset because you have a lot of passion and desire and you're manifesting something new. Okay. Now we have the nine of wands. Yeah, you're, you're protecting yourself from this this person trying to um, persuade you to do something else, I think. Change your mind. But you are very protective anyway. Let's see. Here. What else do we have? Yeah, whoever you don't pick, it's going to be quite upset about it. They're trying to hang on to you. Let's see. The Eight of Wands. Okay, and you're going to move quickly forward. Whatever's happening here is going to happen quickly. And then we have the star. Yes. See, I see you're getting a recognition. You're getting attention. Things are happening quickly. You have the star. You have the sun. You know, there's a lot of good coming in for you. Recovery. Overcoming sorrow. Okay. So this is... The three of swords. You were healing from some kind of heartache, some kind of breakup. I think it's the person that you leave behind. You're going to recover from this because you really had emotions for both people. Six of wands. Congratulations. You're in the spotlight. I think you're really getting recognized for your work too. Looks like things are really going in your favor. You just feel bad and about the person you chose to leave behind. It wasn't an easy decision. Okay, what about the eight of wands? We have the three of swords again. Yeah, you're moving away from this pain, this sour, and it's moving away quickly here. Too much pain, too much hurt. Okay, what about the star? Why do we have a star? And we have temperance. You're balancing things out. It's um Sagittarius energy. Come into balance, balancing things out, being patient. And what about this recovery? We have, yeah, you're putting an ending to this this three three of swords, this third party, whatever this was, and you're moving away from it quickly. We have on the same row here, the three of swords twice. So it was definitely very painful and you're you're moving on. And we have here judgment. Yeah, you made a judgment, you made a call here, and you decided on one over the other. Someone else is not happy, but now you're moving on. You're moving on to something better here. Okay. Let's see what else we have for you, Sagittarius. What else? Ooh, the Wheel of Fortune, Divine Timing, Destiny, and the Hangman. And by something shifting or changing, it's putting you in a new perspective here. You've been waiting for this, Pisces Energy, and Seven of Swords. There's some kind of sneaky behavior that you're look, looking right at. You're seeing it now. I don't know if you've seen it before, but now you're seeing it. Look at this. You, by turning upside down, you're watching this person saying, Hey, where are you going? What are you doing? Yeah, they're trying to get away with something here. They're not going to get away with it. Uh-uh. And we have... You're moving on. Yes, you're moving on from something. You might be... Act oh, okay. We have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. So you're looking to get your independence. You might have to wait for that right now. This is taking some time. Uh, but you are moving on from something that was not serving you. Something better. Someone watched... I also could be that maybe you're no longer single. Because this is also a card representing being single. Okay, and we have here the Nine of Wands. Yeah, this is coming up again. You are protecting yourself. You're, pro you're protected from this person here, too, whatever they're trying to do here. Yeah, they're not going to affect you. You're in your own energy here. You're doing well. Yeah, wow, the Six of Wands keeps on coming up. You're getting recognized for your work. You're going towards your um fulfillment here. Your... Um, you're in the spotlight. You're getting a lot of attention. Whatever you're doing here, Sagittarius, you're doing well because you're getting a lot of attention. And Queen of Pentacles. I feel like that's your energy. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But it feels like you are you are going to have your independence. This might take a little while because you're, you're switching things up or something. Dragonfly, transformation. Yes, you're transforming. This person's very content. They're doing okay. It's just there's some kind of bump in the road. But once you get over that, you'll be fine. And we have the magician. You are manifesting. Okay, for me, the magician is Aries and Aquarius energy. And 
You are manifesting something new. You have all the tools you need. Someone's watching you. Someone's keeping an eye on you. And it almost feels like they're watching you because of what you are accomplishing, how you work, what you do. I feel like it's a person that is probably want to employ you. They they like how you do things. You do things differently. Um, this is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Let me get a charm on this one. And we have here the peacock. Yes, you are standing out. We're getting a lot of attention. Pride here. This is like you're looking really good. Yeah, you're standing out above the rest. And you are getting noticed. And this might be a recruiter or a headhunter coming towards you. But yeah, someone really likes the way you work. Okay, let's see what we have for the word now. The first one is... We don't have any here? Really? The fool. Hmm. Yeah, so this is really you. Because I don't see any other people coming in here. It's very interesting. Yeah, this is your focus mainly on you. So, okay. So we actually just have two here. Wow. Okay. This Queen of Pentacles. So... In the end, you're going to be very comfortable with whatever you're doing here. So we have here, always, is it married? Okay, always married, always wanted to marry you. And someone might ask you something that starts with, is it? Or, or is, is someone always married? I don't know. See how it works for you. Um, What about this page of swords? The only other court card. Wow. That's nuts, huh? You see, Sagittarius, you have a bunch of people. Okay, we have love, forget, sincere. Okay, to forget love, someone's being sincere, or I don't know how we can do that. Forget. I usually like to put forget first, but forget sincere love? I don't know. Love, sincere, love, sincere, forget something. I don't know what to do with that. I really don't think we're focusing so much <coughs> on your love life this time. I think it's all about you. You are in the spotlight. You're getting attention. Wheel of fortune. Things are changing. You are walking away from things that don't serve you. <coughs> I, I have someone, if someone tries to sabotage you or do anything. I mean, we did have in the beginning, we had pick between two people. And that sort of seemed like you... Maybe you, okay, once you pick from one person, you're in with them and that was it. And then it seemed like you focused on your career. So I think maybe it seems like you might have to make a decision between two people that are interested in you. And then once you make your pick, someone here is very un unhappy about you not picking them. But then you s seem like your career takes off, so all your focus goes on that. Okay, so let's see here. What signs do we have? But I see you doing really well. You're getting in the, you're in the spot. You're getting a lot of attention as far as whatever you do for a living here. Okay, let's see. We have... Cancer, Sagittarius, Pisces, Libra, Taurus, and Capricorn. Okay, so this could be placements in your chart, placement in other people's charts, past, present, and future. We have Cancer, Sagittarius, Pisces, Libra, Taurus, and Capricorn. Now for the letters. We do 11 letters. Initials, first name, last name. If you get the first and last name and someone has a middle name, you know that name, get that initial also, all the better. Past, present, and future. V. S. M. J. S. J. H. U. L. O E. Okay, so letters we have for you today are V S M J S J H U L O E. Now for the names. Let's see what names we get here for Sagittarius. What are the names? Okay, we have Thimbi. T-H-E-M-B-I, Sergio, 
Dozy, D-O-S-E-Y. Rishma, R-I-S-H-M-A. France, Francesina, F-R-A-N-C-E-S-S-I-N-A. We have George, Caroline, Pamela, Jennifer, Kelly, and Cassandra, C-A-S-A-N-D-R-A. All right, so those are your names. Okay, guys. So, remember these are general readings, not personal readings. Please just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Please let me know if it resonates. Please leave comments. I'd love to read your comments. If it doesn't resonate, it doesn't make any sense to you, it's confusing, try one of your other placements because then it'll make more sense. All right, guys. I love you so much. I appreciate all your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments. And I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you so much.